I'll make a quick little movie of uh, speed power pressing the little whistle motors for the uh, whistling gerondlas, the Polish orbiters. This is my uh, fast acting, uh, what I call the Maltese style uh, motor press. It's got only it's only a one inch cylinder on it. Comes down. Uh, I've got an adapter on the end of the. Uh, pressing rod coming out of the cylinder. That's a three-quarter inch uh, aluminum rod that's attached to that. That goes down through a funnel. I'll, draw, I'll put a sketch in of this whole funnel bridge assembly. But essentially this is a uh, plywood bridge that I've made. has a hole going through it with a, with a, a, a press through funnel. And um, goes on down and then my tube and tube support will sit will fit in here and I'll show how that works. This is my uh, pressing nipple, just a flat ended nipple, three quarter inch tall that Caleb made for me. Got a five and a quarter inch New England paper tube. This is my old stock tube so I'm using my old five inch long um, Walter clamshell support which fits these old stock tubes. I do have a uh, uh, support from Caleb too which fits the new stock tubes which are slightly smaller than this old stock I have. I've cut the tube one quarter inch longer than the support so it can go up into the bottom of the bridge. That just fits right up into the bottom of the bridge there. That recessed hole which I show on the sketch. And so I've got spacers and blocks and my P2F gauge. So that's all just long enough to support that uh, tube and um, support and nipple in there. I know that it takes um, 70 grams of propellant to make one of these motors. So now I'll show pressing one of the motors. I'm pressing this propellant in a three quarter inch tube at 3,300 pounds of force, which is about 7,500 psi on the composition, and I'm pressing increments that of one half, a flat one half tablespoon scoop. One thing I thought I'd mention: I made this bridge out of plywood. I had pondered having Caleb machine one for me out of aluminum. If I was going to use an aluminum bridge, I would still want a Delrin insert. Uh, in there, in inside the bridge, the aluminum bridge somehow. I never want to be able to pinch whistle composition between metal and metal. I wouldn't want this bridge being metal all the way going into the funnel and all the way to the tube just in case I could catch some propellant between this three quarter inch ram and the, uh, the, the bridge. So I either want to use a wood bridge or a, an aluminum bridge but with a Delrin insert that keeps this ram away from the aluminum bridge. You can see how fast this one inch cylinder operates. So this, uh, I can, you know, knock out a motor in a couple minutes. In this three quarter inch tube, that's pressing increments after they're pressed that are about a half inch tall.
The funnel serves as sort of a safety guard, a safety guard to keep my fingers away from the end of that ram and the bridge or the tube and everything. And I sure don't want to get any fingers uh, into that whole apparatus. So there's a pressed motor. talking and everything take me about uh, a couple minutes to press a motor like that so I hope that uh, especially Richard you asked for some demo on uh, how this power pressing goes I hope that helps you visualize it <laughs>